Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at the world's smallest Class A gas motorhome, but the biggest floor plan they have to offer. This is the 2020 Thor Access model 27.7, which is their only floor plan that gives you a king size bed with a sofa and a dinette. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. to another video my name is Matt from Matt's RV reviews it's the world's only channel that gives you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs and again today I am super excited to be taking a look at the Thor Access 27.7 this answers that question about one person wanting a class C and the other person wanting a class A this is literally a class C motorhome designed like a class A I'm super excited to show you uh, but before we begin I would like to say hi to Andrea Hey Andrea! Hey everyone! How's it going? It's going good. We got a rush today, you we know do. why? It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. It's coming. Hope you guys enjoy this access. All right, and after this video, make sure you stay to the very, very end. Um, and we're gonna show you what tricks we've taught our new puppy, Yuna. All right, let's begin. Model is Access 27.7. This is the same exact product as a Thor Vegas 27.7. Yeah, cup it like that. This is the same product as a Thor Vegas 27.7. Uh, they're called sister products. But the actual tip to tip length on this motorhome is 28 feet 6 inches. This is a crossover motorhome. This is built on an E450 chassis, just like a Class C motorhome but it has been constructed and redesigned to draw, look and drive like a Class A. But as you can see here, you have nice chrome mirrors with cameras integrated in your left blinker, right blinker, and reverse. The small 16 inch tires, just like on a Class C motorhome. And then right here, we got a little bit of storage right there. Nice. Uh-oh. I filled a raindrop. Oh, that's another drop. Let's hurry, Andrea, quick. <laughs> Right here, we have a little bit of storage right nice. there. Nice. Believe it or not, that's actually not that bad. It's really not. You have frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome, and this is a nice armless awning with LED lights. We're not gonna show that to you because we gotta hurry the heck up. Also, it has wind sensors. Yes, so if it blows too hard, the awning will automatically retract itself back in. <laughs> we are up against the clock. Yes, we are. Right there, we got an outside television with sound bar, Bluetooth speaker. I love that. Right here. Dang, nab it, it's locked. What's in there? Just a little bit of storage. Okay. And then right here's a propane quick connect for an outside grill. Electrical outlet, guys. Absolutely. Coming around the back, Andreo. Yes. This has an 8,000 pound hitch. Whoa. Now, I wouldn't tow 8,000 pounds. I'd stick to five or 6,000 pounds. But if your vehicle's a little bit heavier, make sure you check on how much weight you're loading up in this, which the cargo carrying capacity is? 2,333 pounds. Perfect. And we'll have all the rest of the specifications about this motorhome. Lengths, tank sizes, whips, everything down in the description below. Also right here, ding, <laughs> for those people who are watching on TV. And you do have a backup camera there. Yep, I love how the backup camera is integrated in that rear light. Also, you have a one-piece TPO roof. Let's go up on the roof and take a look. All right, Matt, I don't feel as intimidated when we get up on now. this one. All right, up here on the roof, you can see this nice one-piece TPO roof. Very simple. You have your wine guard to go digital antenna right there. Right there is a 15K air conditioning unit with heat pump. It is prepped for solar. And then right there, you do have a max air fan. Hold on. Here we go now. Huh, great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What do the RV salesman's go take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Great. Oh, out, here's your fuel shower. fill up. Yep, outdoor shower, black tank flush, city water fill. And everything is in there, which is great, guys. Not on the outside. Well, everything Except is the, on the outside. Well, that's, that's your black and gray tank dump. Yeah, that's true. Little bit of storage right there. 
30 amp power cord. This is a nice feature. Nice tankless Yay. instant hot water heater. I love that. Uh, coming down the side here, that's where you plug in your 30 amp power cord. I also love how both slide outs on this motorhome is on the driver's side, not your camp yes. side. Full Cummins Onan 4000 generator. Right here's a little bit more storage. Oh, and that's that locked, locked too. too. And um, right there's your propane tank. Well, Andrea, I love the outside of this motorhome. I think it looks, you know what it looks? It looks groovy. It does. Doesn't it? Wait till they see the inside. Well, no, 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 but doesn't it look groovy like the way it looks? Yeah. The inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Thank you. Okay. All right. Great. So inside the Access 27.7, this is what it looks like when the slide outs are in. And look at that. I got plenty of walkway here, as you can see, to get to the bathroom. Then there's the master bedroom. Great. And Andrea. Yes. While the slide outs are coming out, I have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could, leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about this motorhome. I know we're rushing it because of the rain, but, um, you know, the more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our video to. And we appreciate it. Also, we do know that Thor reads each and every single one of the comments. Thank you, Thor. Thanks, y'all. Cool. So this is what it looks like when the slide outs are out. And let's just get started with this cockpit area. If you want to back up just a tiny bit, this is really what makes this motorhome unique, this cockpit area. Again, from here back, it's a Class C motorhome. But the way they've constructed it in the front, it's a Class C motorhome that has a Class A cockpit. That's a crossover. Yeah. <laughs> But I love this. This is going to be great for the people who don't want a big motorhome, but they don't want the confinement of a Class C, if that makes sense. Yes. They want to have the leg space, the open. They want to have the drive of the Class A, but without it being a monster motorhome. Andrea, sit in my co-captain seat, please. Oh, look at this. I got a cup holder down here. For a beer? Hell yeah. This goes this way. I like that. Absolutely. Privacy curtain here. Yep. Um, pedestal table goes here. These seats swivel. Absolutely. Extra seating. I like this. You know what? It feels, it still feels like very much a class A. Yeah. But with the class C body. Definitely. Yep. And it's not too big. This is also, here you go, Andre. This is also a great small motor home for people who are trying to stay at the state and national park. Oh gosh, definitely. Uh, now let me find the bunk over the cab button. Let's show that. And this does have a max of 500 pounds. <sighs> so um, I'm gonna say this, Andre. Come over here, please. Yes. Oh, never mind. Uh, you, well, no, yeah. Come on over here. You... This is you got all your digital stuff, your thermostat, your thingamaboos. Oh, it does have stabilizing jacks. Nice. And then this is where you power everything. I will say this, as nice as this electronic is, um, I was having some difficulties with it, and it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> oh, it's got safety net up there. Yep. I love that. And there's the ladder. Yep, got a nice pretty... bunk over the cab. How much weight does that hold? 500 pounds, wow. which is a lot, and it does have a comfy little mattress on there. Yep. But it's still, it's so great, even though this is a small motorhome, it's still great that it gives you the bunk. Oh, the definitely. Cab. Just that option. All right. Yeah, let's check out this living, air, living room area. Look at this cabinetry. I like it. I love it. It's the European look that everybody keeps asking about. Yeah. Look, you got that nice backlight right there. I love that. Very nice. Listen, everybody can say and what you, you got want. got that ambiance up there. Uh-huh. I think Thor has some of the best cabinetries in the business. Hidden hinge cabinetry on this price point of a unit. It's very fancy. You got shades there on the window. Uh-huh. Very nice. 
Just the privacy shades, not the daytime shades. The balances aren't bad either, guys. Yep, you got speakers right here and ba -ding, ba -ding, you got Vanna White lights. Also, check out this sofa here. Very nice. Three cushions for three seat belts. This does jackknife and make a bed. But why I love this sofa is because it is directly across from the television. I absolutely love that. Now, that does mean the television is above the dinette, but at least you have a dinette. Exactly. If you want an access, you have three options. 24.1 with no dinette, the 25.2 with a dinette but without a sofa, or this one that gives you everything all packed into one. I love that. The dinette does drop down to make a bed. You got cup holders in the dinette, and you got eh, a storage, little bit. Yeah. Something's better than nothing. Exactly. A little bit of storage in the dinette. And I love how you have the windows right here as well. Great, Andrea. Yes. It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Andrea. Yeah. I'm right here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome is. $128,483 MSRP. Wow. Andrea, we have these on blowout. What? Blowout. Boom, boom. Let me hear that boom, price. Boom, boom. Blowout. 38% wow. off. Wow. $279,995. That's an incredible price. That's an absolutely fantabulous price. And Andrea, I don't even think I can get you an even better price than that, but... Give me a call and we will try. Try not. Do or do not. We will try. I have no problem going to my boss trying to get a better price. Andrea, tell everybody what they should do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out my website, mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing. Also, there's a contact me page or just come to General RV of Ocala, Florida. But make sure you call and schedule an appointment with me because my appointment book gets kind of busy these days lately. Andrea, let's continue the video. And guys, there is a fan up there as well. Fantastic. All right, so Matt, we need to point this out. Okay. So over here, I like this. We have a shelf. Uh-huh. We have a nook here. Yep, and little... those nooks are great because... You can put all kinds of stuff in right. there. Right, well, with this motorhome being so small, you got to make the great, best use of storage that you can. We have a coat closet. Uh -huh. trash can in here. Nice. And then here's the kitchen. Look at this. Wow, I split love, kitchen. I love the light. The kitchen is splitching. Like this cabinet. Uh-huh. That must be for the microwave. Yep. Check out the backsplash. Like it, love it, hate very, it, neutral. Very interesting. Oh, that's interesting as well. Look at that. Look at that. They put that sideways, which huh. is kind of weird, but I guess to give you a little bit of countertop space. Yeah, I don't. Oh, and you don't need a backsplash guard, but you need a side splash right. guard, so I like that. Okay. Ingenuity. Yes. Here's your convection microwave. Very little down here. And you got a big drawer. And it is little, but it's a little motorhome. I think I like the two-tone. Yep, I like it. Well, but with the way they did the cabinetry yes. for sure. I love the lights above. This is a nice big cabinet with adjustable shelf. Oh, I like that. I like that. Yep. And look, guys, we even get a window over here. Very nice. With the blind. Very nice. I mean, a shade. <laughs> we have backsplash here as well. I love that. And you do have counter space right here, too, so that's yep. great. I like the round sink. A lot of people don't like them, but I do. You could actually put a big uh, Instapot in there. Crockpot, yeah. Yeah. And here, I love these. And so, Andrea, what happens if you need more countertop space? You have an extension. Oh, man. That's awesome. All right, now put it down now. Oh, Matthew, really? Yep. <laughs> you know I always have a hard time with these. Okay, you do it. All right. Here we go now. See? <laughs> Thank you. And then we have drawers over here. Very nice. Very nice. You got four of them. Uh-huh. Then we have a nice cabinet under the sink. That's nice. actually a pretty good size. It is. It is. Here is our refrigerator. We have another cabinet on top. As much storage as possible. Absolutely. Now, we do have a three-way. Two-way fridge. Two -way. Runs off both propane and electric. And this it is dominant. Dometic. 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 Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's the kitchen. We did see this already. Yep. Um, this here, I guess, is part of the pantry. Or the bedroom. Uh, or the bedroom. Depends I'm not on how you. Sure. Oh, oh, actually, look, look, look. Come here. I'm not Hold really this. Sure. 
Open that again. It's actually both. It's a pantry and for the bedroom. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. So you can access it on both sides. Open I these like drawers. That. I like that. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. And then on the way to the bathroom. Yep. So what we got in here? We got another closet and then we got the pedestal table. Mm -hmm. And then we got four drawers here. Four drawers. No, three. Sorry, guys. Three drawers. They're like, what's wrong with Andrea today? Well, she if you guys want to know what's wrong, uh -oh. I have been... Yuna's sleep schedule's been kind of messed up lately, so therefore my sleep schedule's messed up. Oh, man. But yeah, I like that there's a mirror on this wardrobe as well. And wow. you know, I Sorry. know, I peeked at the bathroom Sorry. and I'm just not very what happy. What were you saying though? You, you like how there's a... Oh yeah, I was just showing the mirror there. I oh like yeah, it. I didn't mean to interrupt. Let's see. Wow. That's what I said. Look at this shower. This is a huge shower. It is, Matt. Oh my God. But why didn't they put vinyl on it? Like, why is it a shower curtain? I don't know. I don't even care. I'm it is very big, I'm though. I'm fine with that. This is a huge shower. Look at that. that my is God. Very good height in here. I like Look it. Look at the shower head. It's really a pop. I like it. Show that sink. Okay, well, let me show oh. this because I'm right here. Nice cabinet here. Uh huh. You got a fan up there. Fantastic. And we have this medicine cabinet. Uh -huh. Very nice. Towel rack. Yep. I like that there's counter space in here. Very modern looking sink. Modern. And there's another cabinet underneath. Andrea, that sink is so like deco. <laughs> I just love it. Great. It's now time for the toilet test. All right. Let's see. It is porcelain. Oh. Uh oh. Let's see your feet. Are you dangling? No, no, okay. no. This is perfect. And Andrea. Yes. This is, this is bringing back a memory for me. For those of you who don't know, the p prime pooping position originated out on the Vegas 27.7 video. And- Which is the sister product of this access. Yep, that we did in 2019. And so many people commented saying that they loved it. And so many people said that they hated it and that it was my first video that kind of went viral. So this just brings back memories for me. <laughs> but yes, this is the prime pooping position. And what I mentioned was in that video, how it's kind of weird how the toilet's angled this way and not this way. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they do that. So it's a prime pooping position. Because what a lot of the other SOBs do, some other brands, they'll put the toilet right here and the sink right here. So where when you're sitting this way, your knee hits the door right there. Yes. I love this. And which, how do you feel about the toilet paper holder? Oh, it's in a great spot. Thor definitely reads our comments. Uh, it, th this motorhome is the originator of the prime pooping <laughs> position. Cool. Now in the bedroom, the bed flips up for the slide out to come in. As you can see, you can still like access this. Like even if you don't want your bed down, you can sit there and put your shoes on and yep. things like that. Yep. I am a fan of that. But we all know we don't like when the bed folds up, but at least the bed only folds it's not one of those half beds so it is all one solid mattress which is nice yes i like it i like both windows on the side i Very like the nice. cabinets the cabinets oh, in here so are great yep. i like how there's windows on both sides absolutely and look matt you do get um a little bit of a nook in there yep on the side good for a cell phone you, yeah usb electrical outlet and directly across you do have a tv right there and a window right here so you don't feel so claustrophobic. And then there is a fan up there, guys. Fantastic. Um, hold on. We're not oh. done yet. What are you showing? Um, this is a queen size, right? Yep. Yeah. Did we show this? No. I did. Well, Remember we from the it, other side? Right? So let's yeah. show it from here. So if you guys can see that, you still have access to this wardrobe. Uh-huh. I love that it's on the mirror and it, it's got it's it's secure in there. Don't worry, guys. And you got a nice big drawer here. Yep. Privacy curtain. Privacy. Yep. I like it. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay, first, I'm gonna go first. I am not a fan of how this bump, this bed flip has to flip up for the slide out to come in. Everybody knows I like the bed being permanent but you can't get this style right. of motorhome without it. It just kind of is what it is. I have one. So and that's one. Two. I did say when we when you when you came in the bathroom. Uh-oh. 
Don't I, talk about it. I don't like the shower curtain feed here. I, I kind of wished it was <laughs> like, you guys know what I mean. Like no. more of a, a door that's on here all the time. Like no. either it was going to be glass or like no. vinyl, but not the shower curtain. No, nope. I'm not a shower curtain person. Andrea, <laughs> you disappoint me sometimes. Hey, let me know if you guys agree with me. I don't agree. Third thing that I dislike about this motorhome, I'm gonna say, um, this 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 kitchen setup. I think this is weird how it turns up this way. I don't like the microwave down there. I, I much prefer the microwave up there. But I get what they're doing. I'm just not a huge fan of that. Great. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. You ready? Yes. Follow me, Andrea. Oh wow. Really, Matt? <laughs> I love this shower. I don't care what types of currents it is. Look how big this shower is. I absolutely love it. I don't even care. Andrea, I've never been more disappointed. <laughs> I, I don't care about currents. How big this shower is, I absolutely love it. And I love how this is where the prime pooping position was invented. So that's one. Two. I love all the counter space in here. Even though you have a smaller kitchen. So wait, 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 wait. I took your dislike and uh -huh. made it my like, and you just took my dislike right. and made it your like? But it's true. This, this, oh, wow. This no, 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 no. I see what you're doing here. <laughs> I like this. I like that even though the kitchen is small, we do have access here to counter space. You can even use this, and you have this. So I love that. Great. And then three. This last one, I think we can both agree on. I love what this product is and represents. I love how this is a classy motorhome. Maybe we should have gone inside. But um, I love how this is a classy motorhome built and designed like a class A. I really like that feature. It's really cool, awesome, and badass. But Andre, let's go inside. It's really windy. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> sorry, y'all. I didn't know it was that windy. But that's it. That's the review. If you have any questions about this motorhome or any other motorhomes, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301. I know that one looks like a seven, but I keep it like that to make sure you guys are listening and paying attention. <laughs> 301-906-0962 is my personal cell phone. And I have links to General RV down in the description below. That's the dealership I work at. But if you see something you like, make sure you call me. Andrea, you have anything you want to say? Yes. Thanks, guys, for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this motorhome and the three things that you dislike. We know Thor reads the comments, so we appreciate all your feedback. I hope everybody's doing well and you guys are staying safe. Thanks Great. for watching. And remember, make sure you stay, and we're going to show you some uh, new tricks we taught you now. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll see you next time. Sit. Turn around. Sit. High five. Nope. High five. High five. Oh, good girl. Oh, you like the raspberry. <laughs>